I get a high off of just freaking people out. You have to figure out other ways to make strong art. How do you create something that's also new? Ain't nothing you gonna say to me that I ain't already heard. A lot of chaos. A lot of buffoonery. And a lot of fucking yelling. Got the system down packed. Yeah. You go looking out refrigerator right now, ain't shit in there. You know what I'm saying? But hell yeah, like we still struggling, man. Every day is a struggle. And we work so hard to get to this point, people would look at us and, you know, kind of just wave us off and give us the cold shoulder. Today we see they looking at us like, oh man, yo, can we do something? We're like, what? Five years ago, you ain't want to come to New Jersey and do the show with us. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. We're all young. Man, nigga, the first time I really met you, probably, first time you, like, you came to my job with some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like, I was working at the mall in, like, Woolbridge. Yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah. <laughs> This motherfucker is like a maniac, you know? Like, I know this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the half. Like, this nigga is yeah. like really crazy. Like, stage dive, front flips, fucking cartwheels, kicking people in the head. Mm -hmm. Shit is fun. <laughs> Control chaos. Man. Yeah, this nigga is like a loose dog. <laughs> With that energy together, I'm like, all right, well, we gotta balance this, like, you know what I mean? I could still be that laid back dude or whatever, but we just had to find a way to like really, really make it work. You motherfuckers better never know. Cause I'm a little my shit. I just lost my shit. We don't take your shit. We wasn't exposed to punk or rock or any type of uh, alternative music other than hip-hop and rap. That's what we grew up around and what our parents were listening to. My first cassette tape was Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> stuck in my mind. <laughs> that just kind of fucked me up, actually. <laughs> my parents hid that from me. That just opened the doors up for Busta Rhymes, Missy Elliott, Andre 3000, like this nigga was wearing like football pads with like fucking fur pants with some fucking stripper boots with wigs and like all types of shit. Like I'm just, my mind's always, you know, fucking racing for shit like that. Like I get a high off of concepts and costumes and just freaking people out because I'm a freak. <laughs> I ain't never been trigger treating, like ever. That might sound like some corny shit. Like my mom's like so religious, but as a kid, that's like the tightest shit. Who don't want to dress up? It's just those little freedoms that I didn't have as a kid that I have now. I could fucking dress up now and fucking throw candy at my fans. Like that's just tight to me. <laughs> Ain't nothing you gonna say to me that I ain't already heard. Cause we come from the hood where motherfuckers don't like niggas in skinny jeans and fucking nail polish and hair like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't like that shit. Look at like Marilyn Manson. You know what I mean? Like, this nigga was making hits, but he was still Marilyn Manson. Like, these motherfuckers say whatever they want to say about you, and you still keep you. That shit is beautiful to me. <laughs> Role models, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. I'm just trying to be me. 
That's it. I'm not trying to be. I am. That's just what it is. Like, I'm just being me. I'm just... You're forced to learn at school. Or you're forced to believe in whatever religion. Or you're forced to believe that this rapper is fucking God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is. Don't listen to none of that shit. Just follow you. Now, these, these are freaks that you're watching here. At the end of the day, we all believe in something. We all believe in the creator, whether you believe in God or you don't believe in God or whatever this shit is, but you are a human being. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be like, you, he could let this wheel go right now. God ain't gonna fucking grab the wheel and take us back home. Nigga, we gonna crash. We're not saying that we don't believe in God. We're not saying that we believe in a darker blah, blah, blah. We're just simply saying that you're held accountable for your decisions. God didn't make you do that. The devil didn't make you do that. You did that. You want to do that. You feel good doing that. Do you focus on that motherfucker? But if you like my shit, that's tied too. Sick. I'm glad that we could relate on something. Tomorrow ain't promised. Tomorrow is not promised.